the good thing in Vienna is you can be still in the city and eat in a little restaurant with the vineyards right next to it. Most of them were called Heuringen and they made wine which was very new, like a Beaujolais Nouveau or something like that. But today they make uh, serious wines too. If you don't know about wine, you're not a Viennese. You don't belong to this society. The young ones go with their grandfathers to the Heuriger and maybe don't drink the very best wine, but they grow up with wine, not with a beer garden. This is not Munich, this is Vienna. The wineries, they own a Heuriger, so a small restaurant, where they sell their own products and their own wines as well. It's very typical that after work, many people go to a Heuriger to have a glass of wine and, and eat a little bit. The tradition of the Viennese winemaking is extremely old. So not the Romans 2000 years before uh, brought the, the wines to the city of Vienna. It was nearly 1000 years earlier where some Celtic villages work in a primary form with grapes. And it's really very interesting for us to work with these historic slopes. It's directly facing southwest to the city and it's one of the best, most known vineyards, the Nussberg Hill. Great wine comes usually from one variety, but not in case of Vienna. In Vienna, the greatest wines are made from different uh, varieties that are planted together in the one and same vineyard and harvested at the same time. Wiener gemischter Satz. And what we see here is different grapes of Grüne Riesling, Chardonnay, Neuburger and so on, completely mixed in one vineyard together. This mixture of different grapes shows also us uh, many, many different facets from the soil. So for me, a field plan, the Gemischter Satz, is a little bit to find something like a fingerprint of the terroir, because these different grapes shows us different facets of the soil. It was a kind of risk management uh, 200, 300, 400 years ago. You have it written in the wine law about 30 different white wine varieties are allowed for a Wiener Gemistersatz. Vienna is in the middle of all the wine growing zones in Austria, so it's cool enough to produce proper white wines with uh, lots of freshness, but it's also warm enough to produce good red wines. No. <laughs> it's great for Pinot Noir, it's great for Riesling, it's great for many things, so what should I not do? Always when you stand up uh, at the hills on both sides of the Danube River, have always this, this breathtaking overview over the city and uh, that's really, really impressive. And uh, we think that we continue this tradition and we work for it. Mm -hmm.